perfect. And we'll wait just a second and make sure that your dad has a uh, Facebook connection. You see what right here, everything that you're showing. Okay, good. Turn that this way for me just a little. And did you get a live Facebook update? Awesome. Um, I can't see any comments on the Facebook side, so you'll have to shout those out to me. Hi, everybody. Hi, Lynn. I can see you, Lynn. <clears throat> Hi, Crystal. We have Lynn and Crystal watching from the website, I believe. And am I seeing, am I seeing Facebook right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can see like comments on here. Yep. Oh, expand. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Here we go, Gigio. I'm trying comments to see right if I here. could. Okay. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Cindy. Hey, Allison. So, uh, Hillary is here. Thank you for coming by, Hillary. <laughs> We're live in multiple places tonight. If you uh, didn't hear the word last week, she's got us networked up. We are live on our website, um, www.themobilemanicurist.com. The reception on the website is crystal clear, isn't it, Hillary? The transmission is just fabulous over there on the website. But we're also, is it simulcasting? to our Facebook page. So if you're watching on the Facebook page and you want an easier, clearer uh, version to watch, head over to our uh, website. Is it on the homepage? Yes. Www dot com. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Susie. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Tracy. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching live from the website. We're glad you're over there. Oh, we just had some more pop in. If you go to the website, just click the Join Now button, and it will take you right to the video. Did y'all hear that? Say it louder, Hillary. If you go to the homepage of the website, just click the Join Now button on the video, and you'll be right in the video with us. Yay. Uh, look, we're always trying to improve for you guys. Um, we're so excited about, uh, just our team here. They are so, um, on it for you guys. Uh, so yeah, we, I've been working on the New Year's Eve nail retreat and even this New Year's Eve nail retreat, guess what? This year, if you attend Miss Tracy's New Year's Eve nail retreat, you will receive a virtual ebook video tutorial of everything that I am teaching in that uh, class. On the app. It only works on yes, the it does not work on the app. It only works on the web version. So all oh, we have 20 over on the website and how many we got on the Facebook page? Hi, Rebecca. I see you from the Facebook page. All right. Look at these little itty bitty shells. We have these in our store, by the way, in case you didn't know. But let me um, adjust our lighting somewhat here. And I'm going to give you an up close of tonight's tutorial. This is literally probably one of the prettiest uh, nails I've done in like forever. Look at that, how gorgeous. I'm going to go out of focus just a second so you can see all the goodness of that and sparkliness of that. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? It's gorgeous. Uh, <clears throat> so let me grab um, tonight our bundle. Let me grab my foils just real quick. Hold on to that thought. And I am seeing, Hillary, that I can't zoom in um, on this one. Either. The quality of the video is unreal. Yay. We are so glad to hear that. So glad. Just one second, you guys. <clears throat> uh, um, got all my video stuff out. Then I'll put it back away. You're so stupid sometimes, honey. 
Hi, Peggy Dixon. All right, you guys, we got uh, our bundle tonight is an amazing deal. It's $110 off to make these mermaid nails. Yes, honey. Uh, Sonora Sand is our number one seller foil in the whole wide world. Um, I think this is the third time we have had this foil set and we still can't keep it in stock. And I ordered a bajillion this time. Um, so if you don't have this one, they're going to be gone, honey. Uh, Sonora Sand looks like this. She's got these beautiful geode foils. Look at this. I, this is what I used for my uh, mocha nails that I did the handmade whipped cream on. This reminds me of coffee. But the one I'm using, look at these, how gorgeous. The one I'm specifically using tonight for this Midnight Mermaid is this. But these are, this is our all-time uh, favorite set of foils. So tonight's bundle comes with these foil. You're going to get a foil gel. Uh, you'll either get quick stick it or gaudy. It doesn't matter. You can use any foil gel because your foil for this doesn't have to be full cover and all the way uh, to the edges. And then um, you guys have heard me talking about our liner gels that we've released. And this is our signature set. We meant to release this a couple of months earlier and we just got we just got bogged down our staff. We had some death in our staff and all that kind of thing. And this is not one that you've seen before. This is our signature set of liners. And it has all of these gorgeous, bright. If you only have one set of prism gel, this should be it, basically. There is this red in here that's amazing. Starcross Lovers. Look at this blue. How beautiful. Once in a blue moon. This diamond is pink. Look at these colors. How gorgeous. Uh, but I'm going to use three of these prism gels tonight. I'm going to be using Crystal Coast. Let me give you the up close on this so you can see. You got the kit, uh, Trace? Good. Crystal Coast is a, it's like a rose gold for certain. And prism gels are are just that. They're very glittery and diamondy and flashy. So we're going to use Crystal Coast. We're going to use um, Once in a Blue Moon. Oh, honey! Look at this. I'm having a hard time opening my set because the lids are on so tight. Look at this, how gorgeous. Is that not beautiful? And, off on the website. and then we're also going to use Mother of Pearl. And Mother of Pearl is this such a pretty white shimmer. Y'all, I can't wait to show y'all what kind of um, top coats that I'm going to make with this. Oh, Jesus! Mother of Pearl, and don't do what I do because you're not supposed to put gel on skin. But look at this here. It's just this gorgeous white shimmer. So in tonight's bundle, you're going to get the whole 12-piece set. You're also going to get your foils that I just showed you, and you're going to get a foil gel. Um, the only thing that's not in the bundle that I'm using is I am going to use some rainbow chrome. And since I turned these on maybe an hour or so ago, these bundles are flying out the door. We only started with 40, and I would say in the last hour, a dozen or even more are gone. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's get to getting, honey. Thank y'all for being live on the website. Yes. Uh, trying something new, trying something new. And tonight, as long as you are watching live, we're going to give away a, um, we're going to give away a set of these prism gels as well. The set I'm using. All right. So let's get going. 
<clears throat> we want to start with a black nail. Always, always uh, something like this you would want to either have your enhancement done or whatever. But I already have some black nails, honey. So we go use these. But obviously, if you're doing it on a human, you need your base coat. You need your black gel polish before you get started. So let's put these little guys right on here. What y'all doing this weekend? I, um, I, we ate some food Friday night that made me sick. And yesterday I felt horrible all day. And today my tummy's still been a little bit rocking and rolling. But th it feels better this evening. So, yeah. But I did some laundry this weekend. Um... You know, just catching up on stuff. All right, we're going to take our no buff. No buff primer right here. And we're going to uh, put that on our black nails because we need our product to stick to these nails, but we don't want to buff it. Black dust from these things are horrible. No, we not going to do it. That she's been snuggling with her new grandchild. Aww. Be generous with your no buff primer. Okay, and you see when you're using a black tip what happens? Okay, we're just going to wipe that off on a paper towel before we go back into here. And I believe this sparkly background, as much as I love it, honey, is throwing us off focus just a little bit. So I'm going to turn that over just so it doesn't make our uh, tutorial out of focus. And let's pop down a little bit of uh, foil gel. <clears throat> Now, y'all can use the one that, that you like, Gaudy Nails, or what's the other one we have? This uh, Quick Stick It by Profiles. You will get one of these um, in the bundle tonight. For, for this, either one is going to work. And let's go ahead and pre-cut our foil. Look at this, how pretty. Honey, I'm going to cut me three separate pieces. Because I like to position my foil to get, like, certain areas that I want to use here. Any questions? Sam says she washed her bed. She, she, she had to... <laughs> if you didn't hear us talking last week, there was a recent survey done, and they were talking about it, I think, on Spirit FM. Um, and they ask how often Americans wash their sheets. Just take a guess. 60% of people said they only wash the sheets once a year. Child, I felt like I had them bed bugs crawling over me all weekend after Keith told me that. I was like, no. She went and got new sheets. I bought two new sets of sheets even this week too. Now, y'all, I wash mine every week. I don't wash them once a year. I was said, mother of pearl, Jesus washing your bed sheets once a year. I bet y'all smell good. Mm, oh, honey. All right, this is quick stick it. Oh, I meant to put gaudy on one just so you could see the difference. I forgot. Now look, got both gaudy and quick stick it. Let's get this in the lamp. Say about a 45 second cure, but y'all have heard me say this before. I accidentally over cured mine uh, and cured it for two minutes. And honey, you talk about a difference. When you cure it for two minutes, you get double the stick on it. So if you're having trouble with whichever foil gel you use, now some foil gels just raunchy. Uh, they're not no good, honey. <laughs> But these two are tried and true for us. So two minutes is what I'm going to cure it for. Angela says she's been having trouble with black gel polish. Which one would you recommend? Uh, our favorite black gel polish is this one. Hold on. This um, back to black. It's what I have on my French tip. While those nails are curing, 
I put a black fringe tip on, uh, and then I just put some rainbow chrome on my black fringe tip. Is that not beautiful? And look how smooth it laid down. There's no bump where I had to put like a bajillion layers of uh, that black. One little teeny tiny itty bitty thin layer did it. So yeah, this is what I would recommend. And you want um, you want a nice solid layer under mid, uh, these Midnight Mermaid chromes also. All right, we're going to take our little dish. And speaking of black, we're going to put some of this black gel polish just right here because we need a little, we're going to use a sponge here in a sec. And I restocked today, look, I restocked my sponge daubers. I went to um, Hobby Lobby late last night after I got to feeling better because uh, I knew I was out of these. And I get in trouble when I go in Hobby Lobby now. We won't talk about what happened, but okay. Our foil gel has cured for uh, two minutes. When you put your foil on here, I want you to make sure that you're strategically going to place that foil. In other words, don't put all of just the blue on. Turn your foil so you get some of all this goodness on there, honey. Okay. And this is easier, I think, for me to hold it and position it. So I know I want like this right in here. Oh, about right there. Now, I put my foil gel on all over, but you really don't even need your foil to come to the edge. So don't worry if you don't uh, get it, you know, all the way around the perimeter. Because I'm going to um, sponge around this edge anyway. If you wear gloves when you do nails and you find it hard to press your foil on, you do this right here. Take your lint-free wipey. Cut you a tiny little piece of that and do this. And that gives you some slippage um, when you put that foil on. Ow. See there? Look, I didn't even press it down over there. If I want it back on there, I, I, I can, but I don't really need, even need it to the edge. All right, so there's one. Let's keep going here. I love this area right in here. I'm gonna make sure I get that. Oh, about right here. And there are three, or let's see, there's four uh, different colors of foil in this um, Sonora sand that all have this geode look to it. Look how nice that's get a transfer. See here? And then the other one, look, I want this right here. Be picky about how you put this on your nails. On shorter nails especially, you definitely need to um, position where you want that pattern. Are there any questions? Are you commenting on the website, Hillary? Good. I think I got most of the questions. Yay, thank you. We're, you know what, y'all? We're so proud of our little team here. They are such um, hard workers, and they're just a great group of people. I started to say group of women, but we're not all women now. We got Keith and Tim. Okay. There's our the basis for our Midnight Mermaid. But this ain't the pretty part. This pretty, honey, but this ain't pretty, okay? So let's get our rubber base gel. Rubber base is going to do, kill two birds with one stone here. <clears throat> Let me get my clear one. I meant to, here we go. First of all, this surface is real slickery. So if we put a top coat on there, more than likely the top coat will want to peel off prematurely. So if we seal that up with this rubber base, it makes top coat stay on. 
Plus, we need a sticky layer to put uh, some candy chrome into some of this rainbow candy chrome. So as thin as you possibly can. Don't be building no bridge with this now. You keep that rubber base super, super thin. All right, and I just kind of sit mine down and let it level out. You know, we, we're so notorious, even on humans, when I was working behind the chair in the salon. It's natural to, when you put this on there, for your client to stick their hands straight in the lamp. But sometimes we need to let this level out just a tiny bit. It gives a really smooth, uh, glassy surface. Is anyone else's connection freezing? Nancy, if you're freezing, it's probably on your end, sweetie. Um, you could have too many uh, computers or devices or phones on your internet at once. We have the highest quality internet plan that we can run here, and we, we actually get a really good transmission with that. So check on that. All right, in we go. That only needs 30 seconds. While that's in the cooker, we got our rainbow candy chrome. Rainbow candy chrome is just exactly what it is. You can see that that reflects all colors in there. But if you have something in like a blue or green, you could use that too. And I'm going to get me a little brush. I'm going to put mine on with a watercolor pen just because it's a little bit smaller. Um... And we'll do a great job of putting that on. Holly says, I have tons of floral sheets, but never have any luck with them. Would you recommend applying to a full coverage tip and then applying tip to finger? Um, never have any luck with them. Are you talking about putting them on a human? Or I would have to know some details, Holly, as to what's causing the issue. All right, y'all. Real quick here. Now, we're not putting a lot of this on. Don't you go stir crazy on me here. Because we don't want to cover up a lot of our, you know, work. But areas that we've got, like, a big expansion of that blue right there, let's tuck in a little bit of this candy chrome. Look how pretty that is. We're going to get a completely different reflection over the blue as to what we'll get over white. It could be your lamp, Holly. Um, it's not curing your foil gel to the full potential. It could be what you're putting it over has a nice, oily, slimy layer, so it dilutes your foil gel. It could be a number of things. We do have a um, free foil troubleshooting guide on our website. Y'all can download it for free. It's going to make you look like you got to check out with it. You do have to go through the checkout process only because the guide is uh, directly downloaded to your email. So I would suggest getting that. It's free. We also have one for stamping. I have written one for gel polish. I just hadn't had time to give it to Hillary to upload it yet. You see, this is why your foil doesn't have to be to the edge. You see right there? Candy Chrome always wants to throw the camera off focus. She bad. She bad. So I'm just using a tiny bit of that here and there. An air wear. Okay, that's it. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm done. Okay, now we want to make sure all that's laying down, so just tap it. You still have a sticky layer on here, and now here is where the beauty comes in. We're going to take these prism gels. This is set number two. This is our signature set, and I pulled out once in a blue moon. Uh, I forget the name of this first one. Hold on, let me look and see. Uh, Crystal Coast and Mother of Pearl. This is all colors that are already in here. Um, we need a tiny bit. I'm going to work off of my palette. 
and I need a tiny bit of just a clear gel, like a, a rubber base gel will be fine. Now this is where you wanna go into a smaller brush like your zero zero brush, because we're gonna do some feathering. Can everybody see okay? Because this is the important part. Does it look clear, Hillary? All right, not everywhere where there's blue. I wish it would let me zoom in. Let's see here. She's not going to, it's okay. We're gonna take this once in a blue moon. Oh, honey. And we're gonna pop this up into a few of these areas right here. You see, I'm just kind of outlining that. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of this clear rubber base on this zero zero brush and then wipe it off. I just want some slippage uh, on my brush. Cassandra says she can zoom in on her iPad to what you're doing. Oh, good. Oh, wow. So that's, that's a feature we didn't know about. Did everybody hear that? Sandra says that she can actually, by watching it through the website, that she can zoom in on it. Now let's feather out. Feather. Just touch it and feather. You don't want to cover up like your candy crumbs you just put on there. And any place you see over here that should have like a, a darker line running through it, let's do that too. Let's just re-emphasize that. These uh, little liner brushes are super, super tiny in these prism gels. I absolutely love it. It also works on an iPhone. You can zoom. On Ooh, you can also zoom in on an iPhone. Yay, we're learning something with y'all. Look how pretty that is. Won't you stop it, Miss Tracy? Now, the thing with doing this technique, y'all, you're going to do one color and cure it. So if you're doing this on several nails, uh, get this one in the lamp and then go to another nail. On a human, maybe you want to work on the right hand and move to the left hand. So I'm not going to switch color because I still have this color in my brush. Ooh, honey. Right up in here. These geo patterns in these foils are real uh, irregular, so you don't have to be precise. And no two nails are going to turn out the same now. So for you OCD people, this might not be the best design for them. Clients or customers, you'll see how I feathered that out. I'm going to leave that because that's so pretty. So see, now y'all can zoom in and I don't have to worry about zooming in. And right here, we had a little foil that didn't go to the edge. Let's just pop in a little bit of that and tap it out. All right, and we're going to cure. And last one. I'm using Once in a Blue Moon Prism Gel number uh, one in the Signature Prism set. Uh, who has our Prism Gel? I, I know you don't have this set yet because we just released it today. But if you have any of our other Prism Gels, will you raise your hand? We'd love to hear what you think about it. The camera really doesn't do it justice, uh, the sparkle that's on it. You kind of have to see that for yourself in person. Anybody? Cindy, yes. which is Cindy? Uh, Cindy? No, no. Oh, yeah. Cindy, tell us what you think about it. She loves it. I bet your, um, I bet your nails sparkle like the top of the Chrysler building. All right, I'm gonna clean out my brush because I'm gonna switch color now. So I'll work from darkest to lightest. Now I'm gonna go into this gorgeous, uh, it's like a really rich uh, rose gold because this foil 
has rose gold in it. When I named that one, I thought it looked very um, coppery, rosy. Yes. Sandy, it, it's copper, rose, sandy, sparkly. Did y'all hear what she said? Hillary is the mastermind behind all the names of this. Uh, I just turned her loose because I know she won't steer us wrong. Look at that. Now, I just filled in what was already in that color. Look how pretty. That's going in the lamp. Y'all, these are easy nails. Like, I was worried about the class tonight because I knew this was such an easy technique. I'm like, this is be a shorter class. You see this little line going right through here? Let me let the camera focus. You're going to trace right over it, honey. Look, this is a no-brainer. What you're, you're doing, what I'm doing, is I have taken a foiled design and I'm making it look like I spent hours and hours hand-painting this thing. Have I not? Right? Now let's blend this one out. Some of these I don't want really harsh lines on, and that's what makes it pretty is when you blend some of them. And right in here is a tiny bit of rose gold, but it's sort of feathered. So let's just put a little dot. And I'm going to go back into my uh, clear and just feather that out. And now we're going to cure. We have uh, four sets of prison gel total. And these will stay in our core collection. Uh, we won't release another set until next month, which is our Halloween set, part fall, part Halloween. That set includes uh, colors like Resting Witch Face, um, Autumn by the Bay, um, Glenda Goody Two Shoes. So if you're just starting to build your collection of these, not to worry. They are staying in our core inventory. Honey, look at that. I have to show y'all a little bit more up close on that, how I put that little line through there. Look how pretty. And, you know, the packaging, we spent a lot of money on our packaging of this, the, our prism gels. Keep your gel polishes clean. Keep your bottles looking good. Don't pull out dirty and nasty bottles, especially in front of clients. Try to keep your product, you know, looking as good as possible. Because, I look, we all hear it. Girl, you got to charge what you're worth. I hear that till I'm blue in the face. Um, if you're charging high dollar for your nail art, your products better look high dollar. Look how gorgeous that is. Ramona says, what is the clear you're using to batter out? Uh, I just put a little bit of rubber base, Ramona, on my little uh, tray right there. And look, one reason I tell y'all to swirl your brush is so that you don't get product all on the outside of these rings here. Because when you do, look, I'm going to do this on purpose. When you get product on here, and then you put the top on, it squeezes out from underneath it. And now look up in the top of that bottle. Look, I got product all up in there now. Miss Tracy going to show you how to fix that while these nails is in the cooker. Here's how we do it. You can do this on any gel polish. I see some of y'all's gel polish bottles now. You can't hide it from Miss Tracy. Y'all need to clean them things. Fold you a lint-free wipe in fours. Cut out the middle, just like you're going to make a paper snowflake, honey. And you saturate this little guy in some acetone. Open that up. Put your brush right through here. And put the top on. And when you give that a couple of twists, I want you to look at the cleaning that little towel did. Honey, 
This will save your bottles. It'll save your polish. And then you can take what's left over on your little wipey and go right around this way. Remember now, I messed mine up on purpose so I could show you how to clean it. And that's how you clean your bottles that are all icky up in the top of there. Okay. All right. Last color is Mother of Pearl. And you guessed it. You're not going to put this every place it's white. But in just a few of these white areas, be sure you've cleaned your brush out now because I have rose gold in my brush. Thank you for the hearts. I didn't know I could see hearts live. Chris Lapford says somebody is going to get a version of this tomorrow. I'm in love with it. <laughs> Yay, Chris. I know you can do it, honey. All right, so now we're just going to reemphasize the white because remember, we put these foils over a black nail. And while it didn't change the color of the foil, um, if you'll put a tiny bit of this mother of pearl just here and there, it brightens the white area. Don't put it everywhere. Just a little bit. And then pop that in the lamp. Let's do that on all of them. I really don't feather out my white. I like it to kind of stay you know, pretty opaque. In here. Let's go a little bit down here. And let's do one more. Oh yeah, this is going to be beautiful. A little bit over here. And a tiny bit, right? I love the geode patterns. I like to concentrate my colors in those areas. All right, and cure that for 30. Now, in case you don't know, your prism gels can also double as a gel polish. You don't wanna put it on with this brush. Use you a gel brush and kind of um, spread that out. But they make a fabulous gel polish too. And now we're going to top coat as soon as those come out of the lamp. On something like this, you guys, I'm going to do a double top coat. Wait, I'm not going to do a top coat yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to ink up my little sponge. I got one more thing to do before a top coat. And all I'm going to do is put a tiny bit of shading around here. This is what makes it look midnighty. You just put it where you want it. You don't have to put it where I put it. Just a little bit. I'm big into shading. I love to do, um, this is what we call, in the art world, look, I'm an artist who uses nails as my canvas. So, in the art world, this is what we would call distressing. We're going to distress it. Okay, and just cure that, and now we will top coat it. Two top coats. Seal this up with a double top coat. You use what you like. Um, you want me to do one of these matte since our samples are shiny? I'll go ahead and show you. Um, We'll shine this up. We'll do a shiny top coat here. Do one matte, okay. I think it would be interesting to see. The prism gels are not going to be very prism-y, uh, but I don't know what they'll look like, Matt. Now, y'all see that light line wiggling around? Flip that nail upside down because we painted this in uh, gel and cured it, so the surface is sort of wavy. 
So we're going to turn that upside down and let that gel just kind of level out. There we go. Nice. In we go. Yeah, I was an artist before I ever got a nail tech license. Um, so, yeah. I do not teach nail technology. This is Matt going on this one. I do not teach you how to get a nail tech license. Uh, I, I've actually applied several times for my school license, and it gets approved to a point, and I just, and then goes into a pending status for something else that the state wants done, and I just decided that was probably a sign for me not to proceed with that, and um, I'm going to stick to my decision here because I know that I help a lot of people, whether they sit behind the chair, whether they have a press-on nail business, whatever type of nail capacity they serve in. Uh, they might only do their own nails. They could be a salon owner um, that's, you know, needing education for their, their nail team. Whatever capacity you're in, my goal is to hope that I help you some way. And there are those that, um, you know, have sent me messages. They were ready to give up on nails. And once they started watching our classes, uh, it's revived their, their nail passion. So, yeah. We never know why things work out the way they do. Oh, child, that's pretty. Kaya says, good morning from Australia. Hello. Oh, I'm so glad, um, Blanca. Thank you, Janice. All right, these are in the lamp. Give it just a second. This is the final look. Oh, here comes the matte one. Here's our matte nail versus the shiny nail. Versus this one that we just finished. So we got two shiny and one matte tonight. Honestly, I think you can wear it either way. You could go lots of different ways with that. Look how those prism gels are glistening. Elizabeth says she made that word up. We couldn't decide it wasn't a sparkle. It wasn't a glitter. It wasn't a shimmer. She says it's a glisten. Both are really pretty. Let's put them side by side here. And that's how you make a Midnight Mermaid nail. Any questions? Hey, what about that would look pretty if you did it? Inside, outside of the geode on the same nail. Oh, yeah, it would. Hillary said the matte one would look pretty if you did an inside, outside geode on the same nail. Hillary. Yes, they are, Lynn, aren't they? You like both of them, Tracy? She's having a trouble yeah. using the welcome code. There we go. Okay, any questions on Midnight Mermaid? That's how she done, honey. Let me go over real quick what was in the bundle for the ones that didn't hear. Uh, because the bundle has a $110 coupon off on it tonight. Um, now, possibly, so I just heard through the earshot that somebody's having trouble using a coupon. Uh, I don't think they can use that coupon on a sale item, can they, Hillary? It depends on what coupon it is. I'm not it's a sure. welcome code. Um, if it's a welcome code, it's probably not going to let you use it on a on a bundle that we've already given one hundred and ten dollars off on. That might be it, but I, I don't know for certain. Okay, so in the bundle tonight, that's one fifty six. You get the Sonora Sand. This is a foil set I used. Hold on, because I have the blue piece out of here that I used to create Midnight Mermaid right here. Uh, I also use this for my coffee nails. So when I get into fall doing pumpkin spice latte nails and all that, you will need that little uh, piece right there. But yeah, this got some really pretty. You get that, you get a bottle of foil gel, and you get the whole entire 12-piece signature number two liner set in a beautiful gift box. I can't even get all of this under the camera, but the gift box has a magnetic um, closure on it and it's all black velvet lined inside and look it has the little cutout for you to put your prism gel and 
the bottoms are numbered so you know which order to keep them in in your box. Right in the top of your box are uh, your color names of those. And obviously, you're welcome to change your color name uh, to fit you know, whatever it is that you might be doing in your business. So that is what's in the bundle tonight for 150, I think it's 159 or 156. Uh, the prism gels are also available, open stock. If you like only the colors that I used, uh, we have plenty of those. Or if you just want the set of prism gel, or if you just want the set of foil, look, we got you covered tonight. We have singles and bundles of everything. Aren't those foils gorgeous? You love the live on the website, Trace. I, I want to hear your feedback on that. She says, thank you for doing that, Hillary. That no, works good. You know what? We're, we're tired of getting, um, sometimes the Facebook boots us off. We just get started and that will happen. Or, um, Sometimes the resolution on Facebook is just very fuzzy and blurry. Uh, and we knew that we wanted to come up with a solution to give y'all like the clearest option. We did not know you could zoom in on the video. So that's a plus. You love that you can buy while watching. I didn't know it had that feature until Mastermind Hillary was showing that to me. Uh, and you don't have to leave the video from that. No more Facebook booty. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Sandra says, Hillary is amazing. This format is great. Uh, you guys, we were talking earlier. We would kind of like to start some little daily short videos right here on the website, not on Facebook. Uh, and we're not moving our class from Facebook, but maybe like a 10 minute something on Mondays or Thursdays or whatever. Would y'all be interested in watching that live from the website page here? Um, just for some shorts, just for some little short tidbits and yeah, you would. Okay. Absolutely. You love the Zoom feature, Carlette? I'm so glad. I did not even know it was there. You love the lives now on the website. The videos are so clear. Thank you, Hillary, for a great job. All right. Good. Good. We will, um, We'll definitely put that together for you guys. And they can go back and watch previous lives on the website too, can't they, Hillary? Yes. So it makes it super easy to find it. And you don't have to surf through all of that um, on Facebook to find these. So we encourage you to watch us over here on um, the website real quick. Um, I got to see who's watching live. All right. Because we're going to give away a set of, Number two, prism gels. Thank you guys for sharing tonight. Give us just a second to let this load. Just a moment. Yep, okay, good. Who's coming to New Year's Eve now retreat? Raise your hand. We uh, opened up New Year's Eve now retreat this week for registration. Uh, we've had to move it off site. We have such a large wait list for it. We have 47 on the wait list and we won't have 10 seats here in our classroom. So we've moved it uh, off site to a hotel conference room, but we still only opened it up for 20 students and we have sold half of the seats already. So New Year's Eve now retreat, honey, if you want to come, all I can say is you better not wait because you won't get no seat. And if you don't know what that's all about, you message Miss Tracy and ask me and I will fill you in for that. Okay, let me, we're going to do the drawing from both the website watchers and um, the Facebook watchers because we want to make sure we get all of y'all included in that. Any questions? It's always a treat on Sunday and Wednesday. If y'all got any questions, now's the time to answer it because I'm letting this load real quick so um, we can do our drawing. Cindy asked if you could do a triangle foil class sometime. You know how to do triangle? A triangle foil class? What is that, love? What's a triangle foil class? If I know, I will, honey. I just got to know. Good luck, everybody. This is loading. 
Oh, we got a winner, but now you got to be watching live. If you're not watching live, we have to call another name. Carlette Morrison, are you watching live, hunty? She was a little bit ago. Y'all help me watch because I'm trying to watch on two different platforms here. Carlette Morrison. Uh, we leave it in the bundle, Tracy, until it sells out. Carlette Morrison, are you watching? She said the triangle one's in the Sonora sand. Third one on the bundle. Oh, a triangle pattern? I sure enough will, honey. I'll put a tutorial together for you on that. This reminds me of a quilt. Isn't that pretty? I don't have supplies sitting near me to do a tutorial now, but I will. Is Carlette not watching? I don't see her. Anybody see Carlette? If not, we're going to draw another name. I am <gasps> She's there! Carlette! You want a full set of these prism gels, honey. Don't you buy them. No! Don't buy it. We'll send you this. Hey, listen, if you put your order in, we'll just ship it with your order at the same time. Does that sound good to you? Congratulations! It does look like a quilt. And then the other marbles. Look at this marble. How gorgeous. This is a pink and a peach. We got some here. It's just really, really pretty. There's some paisley patterns. This is probably our favorite foil set. But to look at the this set of foil and then realize these nails come from there. Child, they don't even look related, do they? Listen. Y'all have a great night. Um, we can't wait to show you some things that we have planned for you later this um, month. We've got some more Sugar Skull tutorials coming up and a few other things. Um, so thank y'all for being here and thank you for being live on our website tonight. We really appreciate y'all hanging here with us over watching us grow and just trying to make a better experience for you. Okay, y'all have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.